Avengers of API Calls, this is Prof G, and it's time for us to jazz up our JSON journey. Because before we access data over the internet using an API call, I want to make sure that you can easily decipher that data, because this is going to be critical when creating custom data structures to get that data and put it into our app. Now, if you don't have any extension in your browser, chances are if you look at JSON in a browser, it looks something like this. Yucktacular really tough to interpret. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you two extensions that I use for formatting JSON data in a browser, one for Safari and one for Chrome. But since our course is friendly for absolute beginners, before we begin, just a few terms. We're going to get data using an API, and API stands for Application Programming Interface. And APIs are a set of standards published by firms that tell other developers how they can get a service to perform a task such as sending or receiving data. And APIs are everywhere, so if you've ever seen a service like Uber, for example, in Google Maps, OpenTable, or an airline app, that happens because those firms are using Uber's API to link to their service. And that's why APIs are such a powerful business tool. They allow a firm to expand their reach to a much larger distribution footprint than they would if they were to do things themselves. Now, there are hundreds of publicly available APIs that you can find by searching the web. You'll be able to find APIs for all sorts of topics, including Marvel movies and comics, recipes, transit information and schedules, and more. Now, some firms charge for API access, others offer them for free, and even those that charge often offer a trial period, or they won't start payment until a minimum threshold of use is reached. Now, this lesson comes about halfway through our semester-long course for absolute beginners that teach us how to build apps using Swift UI. And in the lessons that follow, we're going to build a basic Pokemon app using data from the PokeAPI.co website. This website has data on well over a thousand Pokemon, and it's updated regularly. Now, to get the first page of data that delivers data on 20 Pokemon, we can use this URL, PokeAPI.co slash API slash V2 slash Pokemon, all lowercase. And if you head there and your browser looks neatly formatted, congratulations you can move on to the next lesson. But for those of you without a browser extension to format JSON, it likely looks like a single line of data that wraps around your screen, and this is very difficult to tell where one piece of data starts and another ends. Now, since I'm in Safari, I'm going to show you how you can get a Safari extension to improve formatting, and I'll show a technique for Chrome later in this video. So if you head over to the Safari menu and select Safari Extensions, the Mac App Store opens up. And I'm going to head over to Search and enter Collapsible JSON. Now, the ability to fold or collapse portion of JSONs is, I think, absolutely vital. The first one that shows up, Better JSON for Safari, is the one that I use. You probably have an option here that's Download. Click that. Now, once you download this, just click Open, then Safari Extension Preferences. Click the checkbox next to this extension and turn it on, and will you look at that? The jumbled JSON that was in my browser is now nicely formatted. Now, what I mean by collapsible is this formatter has little expansion triangles that are next to elements that can be collapsed. If I click on any of these, I can toggle the portion of the JSON closed or open, and you'll find this extremely useful when you work with more complex JSON. Just as an example, this item here is called results. It's an array of Pokemon. I can tell it's an array because it starts with a square bracket. But if I click the expansion triangle to the left, the whole array closes up. If I click it again, it opens up and I can see all the Pokemon inside of that. So great. And if you're a Chrome user, there's a similar tool available for you. And again, the good news is it's free. So I'm in Chrome and I'm looking at that same Pokemon data and I can see that this is not formatted. So I'm going to open another tab and search for the Google Chrome store. Click the Chrome Web Store and search for JSON Formatter. This one that shows up up top has a high rating and a lot of reviews, so I'm going to select that. Click the Add to Chrome button, then click Add Extension. Then you should see a message that says JSON Formatter has been added to Chrome. Excellent! Then if I head back to the tab that had my Pokemon data that was not formatted, but I refresh this screen, look at that! Things are formatted, and we've got the little expansion triangles here as well. Nice work! In our next lesson, we're going to learn how to use this API from our app, then parse the data that we get back into custom data structures so it's nicely formatted for our user. Keep hacking!